Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Plan 3D Tutorial and in this video we will be learning about Bill of Material Extraction in Plan 3D and we will be extracting the Bill of Material of the same models which we had done in our previous videos and if you haven't watched the previous models of my piping modeling, equipment modeling and structural modeling I request you to first watch those videos and then you can watch this video of Bill of Material so that you go in a sequence and it will be helpful for you to understand as well ok so let us begin this video without wasting any more time so in this session we will be learning about two types of bill of material generation one method is extracting the bill of material for this entire 3d plant and the next method is extracting the bill of material for this orthographic drawing which we have generated in the previous video and if you haven't watched the orthographic drawing generation video then i'd request you to first watch that video and then you can continue with this bill of material video ok so we are going to generate two types of bill of materials now one is for orthographic another is for 3d so first we will generate for the 3d model generation of bill of material in plan 3d is very simple all you have to do is you can see here that we have an option here in the top left corner data manager so click on this data manager and you can see here there is a bill of material which has been generated automatically by the software all you have to do here is make sure that in the top scroll bar that you have selected the current data drawing data so that whatever components are there in the current drawing will be generated in the BOM and also in the bottom left corner make sure that it is selected as order by object type and if you select the order by area uh, you, you can see it's not a proper BOM you won't be able to generate that so make sure you have selected order by object type now you can see here we have different types of components listed here like equipments, fasteners, pipe run components, steel structure here you can extract bill of material for different items which are mentioned here so right now in this video all we want is to extract the bill of material for our pipe run components so I'll select this pipe run component so here you can see that the bill of materials present in my current project has been displayed in this box so you can scroll you can move this you can see that there are many other informations present here so if you want to move any column you can just drag it like if I want my material to be in next to the material side material code I can just drag it if I want my long description of size to be next to the long description of family now you can just drag it so this is how you can alter the column section here and next we have some options here like refresh sync to pnid and rest of the things here only thing that is important for us is to export it to excel one is export and if you want to import also you can import from the excel for now what is important is export when i click on export here you can see it is showing me a box where it is written data display data type you need not change that and next there is an option like active nodes and all child nodes or active only nodes see I'll just tell you what are active nodes and child nodes see this what I've selected is a what a pipe run component is an active node and the child node is the nodes which are coming under this piping components and the next example here is piping and equipment is a active node and the rest of the things which are coming under this like equipment fastness everything are the child nodes so what happens here is if I click on active nodes and child nodes and click on ok and this is the location where it will be saved and click on ok as I have already created one bill of material it is asking me whether to replace or not replace I'll just replace that and my bill of material has been generated I'll just go to that location I will copy that location where my drawing has been saved and open it here you can see my excel has been opened for the bill of material and all the components present in my plant have been shown in this excel sheet here you can see we have different uh, pages like uh, wire reducer pipe nozzles and all the data sizes and everything has been displayed in this excel and whichever data is you required you can keep that and the rest of the thing you can you may delete or alter whatever you want to do or if you want to rename anything and as i told you about the notes and child notes see here i had selected active nodes and child nodes so here it has created like separate sheets for the child nodes that is this child nodes and this elbow flanges and everything and one more separate sheet for this pipe run component that is the active node which includes everything which is under this child nodes see here and we have one more sheet for pipe run component and if we select active node only option 
this child notes sheets in our bill of material will not be included we will be having only one sheet which is this pipe run components which will include the entire components which are present in my plant so whichever option you want you may select that and i hope the difference between this two option is clear so this was the procedure to extract the bill of material for a 3d piping model in plant 3d and next we'll be learning the procedure to extract the bill of material for this orthographic drawing and this procedure is also very simple and we'll be dealing only with these options here you can see in the top there is table setup update bill of material bill of material and as well as this bom annotation so first beginning with this table setup table setup is nothing but how you want the bill of material to be displayed see we have like different options like bill of material bill of material with cut list and itemized so right now we won't change anything we'll just go there and click on bill of material see when i click on bill of material it is asking me to select the viewport of which i want to generate the bill of material so i want to generate the bill of materials of items whatever are displayed in this viewport so i'll just select this viewport and next it is asking me to specify the first corner of my bill of material so i'll just drag this box here like this you can see here that my bill of material has been generated here it has given me some id quantity then the size schedule and the description see here we have the pipes elbows reducer and everything in a single table and next coming to this bom annotation see when i click this it is asking me select a bom data row or an entire table first we'll select one data from one row for example if i want to annotate this data that is this valve i'll just click on this valve and you can see that there is a balloon which is pointing towards the valve that is 20 this 20 is the id number id number here that is 150 size of valve and one quantity and next see here this valve is two quantity that is 19 id i'll just click on that valve you can see that 19 is pointing towards this valve okay and one more it is going for this will this valve see this is the two quantity so i hope you understood about selecting an individual row and next we'll select the entire table so first you have to click on bom annotation and next see here there is a table option click on the table and just click on the table you can see first it is going for this pipe all i have to do is just keep, keep on clicking here and next it is uh, going somewhere here uh, maybe some problem in the extraction of this orthographic extraction so i'll just click somewhere Okay, just ignore that too next uh, we have this one option here and the next second year third we'll place somewhere here so in this manner you have to just go on clicking and placing the balloons wherever it comes for the entire plant uh, for now i'll just click on escape and we'll just delete this too so guys i hope you understood about uh, giving the bom annotation in the two methods so this was all about uh, extracting the BOM orthographic drawings. What I want you to do is just go into this table setup and we have like different methods in which the BOM will be represented. So all you have to do is go and check out and see the difference between this cut list and we have here like a simple BOM group BOM category and then also you can add any columns which you want like click on add columns and if you want any other details to be displayed in this BOM you can add that column here you can just scroll down and select whichever whichever column you want it to be displayed just select the name here and click on ok and you can see that the column has been added you can just click here and that column will be added in our BOM click on ok and next you did not generate the same BOM again you just have to click on update BOM that is bill of material and it will get updated as you can see there is a difference between the previous BOM and this BOM we have the material code here and next it has been segregated based on the items for, for example for pipe it has created a separate rows then it has separated the rows by this heading that is fittings and again all the fittings are displayed the next flanges or flanges are displayed so here we have different option in this to set up the table so you can just explore these options and still if you have any doubts you can just let me know in the comment section and we'll just place our POM in our drawing for just representation purpose we'll copy it here and paste it here and we'll move this to the right 
and also we can stretch this table let's stretch first this then this and then the last this is fine and so guys this was a very short and simple explanation for BOM extraction in plan 3d and if you have any doubts you can let me know in my comment section and if you haven't watched my previous videos of piping modeling structural modeling isometric equipment modeling and stuff you can watch that videos as well and please like my videos and if you are new to my channel please subscribe to it and please support me and if you have any suggestions for me please let me know so i'll see you in the next video till then take care and goodbye